What's up, everybody? It's Ryan Donnelly from RyanD.com. Check out CalmSupport.com for stress, relaxation, immune, and sleep support. And RyanD.com for free coaching that is run off of donations. You can donate by clicking donate at the top of the page, or you can book an appointment by clicking coaching. In today's video, I wanna talk about meetings. Now, <clears throat> whenever I first talk to somebody and they're looking for advice on how to stay clean or how to get clean, I always recommend going to a meeting, meaning AA or uh, NA, Alcoholics Anonymous or Narcotics Anonymous. The reason I always recommend this is because it's a great first step to first educate yourself and to be around people who are going through or have gone through what you are about to go through or are living with currently. <clears throat> now, there's a lot of people out there that will talk shit about meetings. I am not one of them. Um, I don't see the point in doing so because not everyone is going to be the same as you. So I believe that you should try every outlet possible. And one of the most famous and one of the, the best outlets there are in the world are meetings. Millions of people have gone to meetings and have been successful and stay successful and stay clean and sober for the rest of their lives because they are, you know, it's a part of their life. It's not just like, all right, I got clean, I move on. They work steps. They work th things that have been proven to help people. So when people knock it, um, just ignore them because maybe it didn't work for them, but that doesn't mean it won't work for you. All right, so the first step I always tell people, I said step, they, they do believe in the 12 steps. They do have 12 traditions. Um, they're great things to live by. They're good things to practice. Uh, I went to meetings the first two and a half, three years of my recovery. Um, and the first person to take me to a meeting was my father. And we went to a closed meeting. Um, now, this is the point of the, the video though. Don't get discouraged if you go to a meeting, okay, and the atmosphere, the vibe is very sour or negative, okay? Because I'm gonna give you a quick story. The first meeting I ever went to, and I spoke to somebody about this through Skype uh, last Friday, I believe. Because <clears throat> her in particular, she's going to meetings in the UK and she's surrounded by a bunch of younger men who you know, are there because they have to be there whether it's be through the court system. Um, so a lot of them are in, or out, in and out of uh, jail or prison. So she can't really relate to a lot of the stories they're telling. Now this is what my, my story is about. First meeting I go to, closed meeting. Uh, my father's a recovering alcoholic. So we're sitting there, I have no idea what to expect. Nervous, just like everybody else is when they first go. And closed meeting is where they recommend and they would would like everyone in there to be either in recovery or search in recovery not just somebody who wants to go in there and research you know what i mean so they would like you to be part of the uh the group an open meeting on the other hand is when there's speakers that come in usually it's if it's one really good speaker there's tons of really good speakers out there one speaker two speakers three peaks three speakers um, but that's open to the public. I mean, you can bring your mom, your dad, your girlfriend, your wife, your boyfriend, your husband, brother, sisters, whatever, in so they can hear stories and they can learn about, um, you know, addiction and substance abuse. Now, the first closed meeting I go to, sitting there with my father, it's in a church basement, and it's a big group of people. And it was sour grapes. I mean, so I went in there positive, stoked to be, you know, clean and sober and everything. Um, I had already had like uh, three plus months or so, so I was feeling good. And I got in there and within the first 20 minutes, I wanted to blow my brains out. Because it was like, my bills, I can't pay my bills. Everyone's just complaining and complaining about life and how terrible it is. And I'm like, you guys are all sober and clean. And this was an AA meeting. So like it was bothering me I'm like I'm stoked right now just to be freaking alive and all you people are just complaining now this is where somebody else stepped in so there's a guy 
He's very great personality, huge personality. One of those people that walks in the room, knows everybody, talks, real loud voice, uh, funny, great sense of humor, everything, cracking jokes, but also serious when he needed to be. Construction worker, owned, owned his own business. So he's sitting two chairs away from me, and he's watching me throughout the whole thing, and he could see me just starting to like lose it. So he stops the meeting. He, he, he like interjects and wants to share. And he goes, listen, I wanted to talk to you, because I was a newcomer, I raised my hand in the beginning, in the past in the book around and everything, signed their names and phone numbers. And he points to me and he goes, listen, all meetings are not gonna be like this. And the other thing they were pushing, a lot of people were talking about God, 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 God. Now, not everyone's into the whole God, God thing, okay? So it was a lot of Debbie Downer stuff, a lot of, you know, Krabby Patty, and God stuff. So he points at me and he goes, listen, not every, not every uh, meeting's like this. This is my home group, which means that it was his group that he relates to and goes to every week. He probably has duties there, bring coffee or bagels or whatever. And uh, he goes, I don't want this to scare you. He goes, looks around and he goes, you guys are going to fucking scare this guy from ever coming back again. It's not always like this. People set the tone in the beginning of the meeting. And this is something that a lot of people need to understand. If the tone of the meeting is going south, where everyone is just pissy and shitty, other people are gonna are gonna like you know they're gonna feed off of that, and the whole meeting is just gonna keep that keep going. If you want to share and you're not feeling the way these people are, interject and change the whole momentum of the meeting. And he did. He started sharing, and his sharing was he had a great fucking week. He felt fantastic. Um, things were going good for him because he was clean and sober, and he compared it to what his life was like beforehand. And from that point in, that was 20 minutes in, there was another 40 minutes or so, other people were sharing positive stuff. So my point is that just because a meeting is going shitty does not mean it has to stay going south or negative. You can interject and share your happy thoughts because humans just like to bounce off of each other. They feed off of each other. So if the whole momentum and mood is negative, people are gonna be negative. They're gonna share their negative shit. If it's positive, they're going to share what's good. So if you don't like the way the meeting's going, or you just wanna share your story, and it has nothing to do with the way things were going, please interject, because there's people in there going, oh my gosh, this is horrible. Why is everybody so freaking down like it's been raining for freaking four months straight share your positive day your positive week things that are going well for you if that's what you want to share now I'm not saying every meeting has to be positive and everything like that people are going through things that's why they go there and that's why they share it helps them it's therapeutic but one of my point is is that if the first first person who shares usually sets the tone for the meeting if people don't interject and try to bring it around or add some different flavor to it. Because if every meeting you go to is shitty and, and you know everyone's complaining, you might not ever go again. So <clears throat> that's why it's best to jump around meetings. Don't keep going to the same ones. Check out different meetings because there's different types of people there, there's different vibes. There's different, you know, stories, and you can learn so much from people. I just got computer ink everywhere on this desk. Thank goodness it's just a cheap plastic desk. Um, so just, just bounce around meetings and understand that the first person who shares is probably going to set the tone. And don't let it ruin the meeting, all right? But 100%, first thing you should do after you, uh, you know, as soon as you can, really. Get to a meeting, check them out, raise your hand as a newcomer, get some phone numbers. Um, and another good tip is after the meeting, okay, stick around, talk to people. The people who stick around, there's gonna be people that will come up to you and shake your hand and introduce themselves. And if you meet them, mark down on your your pad of phone numbers on the on the pamphlet or whatever they give you. A smiley face next to their their phone number because that means you can put a face to the the name on there and you know who you're calling it makes a big difference than when you just you know have numbers on there and you're afraid to call them because that's just natural fear 
But if you meet, if the person comes up to you, meets you, says their name, write down their next to their name that you met them, smiley face or whatever, that's the person you're probably gonna end up calling. Okay, because you they you you remember their face. All right. So happy Monday, um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Check out CompSupport.com for stress relaxation, immune and sleep support, and check out RyanD.com for one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do it through Skype, Facebook Live, uh, the Google One, uh, text, phone calls, whatever you want to do. Uh, they're half-hour sessions. Uh, they're free. You just got to book an appointment on RyanD.com, and you can also donate if you want. Um, to help me keep that going because it does take up a lot of time and I do have a family feed. All right, so enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys tomorrow.